love is more than just the feeling. Now don't get me wrong, I'm still learning about love. I'm still trying to understand love better than I do understand it. But one of the things that I've come to learn is that it's more than just a feeling, way more than just a feeling. Love is visible. It can be seen. You can see love. You're supposed to be able to see love. But see, the problem becomes when we reduce it to mere emotions. We reduce it to butterflies in our stomachs and cute thoughts. Cute thoughts about one another, daydreams, uh, fantasies. We reduce it to that. And it loses so much power. It loses its power. It loses what it actually is. Love is more than a feeling. Love is visible. And when love, when you love correctly, you can see it. See, I'm pretty sure that at one point in your life, you've probably, heard, you've probably had somebody tell you that they love you, but when they said it, it didn't come as a shock. Because you already knew it. You saw that they love you. I saw it already. I saw it in the little things that you did. I saw it when you came to see about me. I saw it when it seemed as though you have my best interest at heart. I saw it, I saw it. So when you're telling me that you love me, I appreciate the confirmation, I appreciate the verbal confirmation, but I've always known that you love me because I could see it. I saw it when you showed up for me. I saw it when you did what no one else would do for me. I saw the love. Love is supposed to be visible. And if you can't see it, I would suggest that you question it. The very love of our Heavenly Father, the very love of God, is seen in the fact that He gives the greatest gift, which is the gift of His Son, in order to give us this free salvation. It gives. It does. There's action to it. And so, if I was you, <laughs> in that romance, in that area of romance. If it's nothing more than just cute feelings and cute ideas and fantasies, I would begin to question it. I'd really begin to question it. You're supposed to see it, not just feel it. And you see, the problem is when people reduce love to just emotions, feelings, when you reduce it to emotions, that's when I can say to you, I love you, but still lie to you. When love is only an emotion, when it's only feelings to us, when it's reduced to just fantasies, I can lie to you and still claim to love you. I can steal from you and claim to love you. I can do anything to hurt you and still claim to love you. Does that make sense? No, it doesn't. But we hear it all the time, right? I was unfaithful, but it's not that I don't love you. You can love somebody and still cheat on them. And that's because you've reduced love to a mere emotion, a feeling. It's an action. If I love you, I wouldn't lie to you. If I love you, I wouldn't do anything to hurt you. If I love you, I would do everything that I can to make sure that your best interest is observed. Love has to be seen. And when you reduce it to emotions, to feelings, I'm telling you now, you will always have somebody tell you, I still love you, although I hurt you, although I went out of my way to do you wrong. Make sure that the love that you profess can be seen. Make sure that the love you believe you are receiving can be seen, not just words, not just cute ideas has to be more than that. It's in the act of service. Everybody's love language has to be acts of service. And I know, you know, we have the five love languages and some have these ones, some have those ones. But truth be told, love can be seen in those acts of service for everybody. Love can be seen in those gifts for everybody. And these gifts look different. It's not, it's not always diamonds and the cute bowstrings, but Love can be seen because love gives. Love sacrifices. Love is selfless. Love is visible.